back on the spanners today. We're going to fit a new gearbox to this lawnmower. This lawnmower is a little bit different to most because it's front wheel drive. So the gearbox is at the front, which makes, I think, life a little bit easier. But, uh, this is a Husqvarna M53S Pro. And the good thing is you can buy all the bits for it still, even though it's a, an old mower now, it's a 2009. I think you can still get them now. Might be under a different model number. But um, it's a good mower. Not really a consumer model. This is aimed at professionals. It's a mulching mower. I think they retail at just over a thousand pound or thousand euros. But uh, now we're going to attempt to take the gearbox off. I've got a new gearbox here and a new cover and some other bits and pieces we're going to fit. So I'll bring you along and we'll have a look. Here's the new gearbox, which sits in there. First things first, take these wheels off. It's nicely stuck on there. You see there's a washer there that comes out. These are metal wheels, <coughs> they've got proper wheel bearings in them. So it's like I say, it's a proper professional mower. Put that over there out of the way. Now I've got to take this cog off. A pair of circuit pliers into the holes. There you go. There's your little circlet. I'll pop that there out of the way. Don't know if there's anything behind it. No, there's no washers there, so I'll just give them a bit of a clean up. And that comes off, there's a washer there, and that comes off. So what have we got here? Yeah. There's another circle up on there. What I'll do is I'll undo the other side, the same as this, so we get to this position on both sides. But I'll just, so I'll bring you back when we're on to the next stage. So I've got the other side stripped. Now I'm going to just take these bolts off underneath and uh, see what's the car. This bearing won't come off the end. I'm hoping that it's going to be part of this. deal on here and we don't have to take all that handle part. hold the front axle in, I believe. Aha. So now, I wonder, you take the belt off. Uh, 
Ah, where's that spring come from? Oh, we've got some junk in here. Make sure there's no... There we go. So now, in theory, that should go like that. <coughs> One gearbox off. Oh dear. I'm covered now. Anyway, normally in the workshop I'd uh, get the airline on it, but I'm not running that out here today just to do this. I've got the cable on the gearbox. Gearbox sits in there on top of this spring. That spring goes in there. Here what sits on top. So now we can put it all back together, put the belt back on. What I'm gonna do is lift it back up because I want to make sure that the belt's on at the pulley end on the on the blade end. Which it isn't. Right, I'm going to copper grease the shaft when Tina gets back out. So, a little bit of copper ease on there. Same on this end. Just help it slide together a bit better. I can't remember how I did this now. Um,
Right, before I tighten anything down, I'm just going to put these uh, clips back on the end of the, the shaft. Which I believe was that one. Same on the other side. All the circle clips are in, so now I'm just going to tighten it down. I'll just nip them down for a start, just so it sits correctly. I don't want to be too tight, just tight enough that they don't come loose. It's got to hold it all in place, but you don't want to be cranking it down too much. Right, so that's that. Next job is the spring goes back on the main shaft. And this is keeps everything nice and tidy. Just scrape this out a little bit. So spring goes on there. And that goes on over that bit there. Now for the uh, the drive gear onto the gearbox shaft which is this piece here which will just give a little clean off All right so the shaft has got a, a slot on it so that it lines up it's like a drive flat on it so that goes on there then we take the circle clip That's the drive cog back on. Now we just need the wheels. So the wheels just go back on. goes right now with these washers they've got a bit that protrudes out and that goes in towards the bearing I think if I've got it wrong I'll tell you in a minute
pull the drive clutch? No. You might have to pull that back first though, out of the way. And off. So I'm just going to put the other side back together and then put another clip on there and we'll show you it working. We've gone to town on it a little bit. We've treated it to a nice new front cover. The old one got a big hole in it, so it kept filling up with grass behind it. So now all we've got to do is, I've got a new clip and a washer to go on there to hold that in place. So we'll get that on and then Tina's going to test drive it. That must just be able to, uh, to keep it quiet then, I guess. Yeah. There's no lip on it, so it must just grab hold of it. So now we're going to get this down on the floor. It's all back together. Tina's going to fire it up and give it a little test drive. Bearing in mind, I used to have to run behind it. So here we go. Is that good? Oh, I can see that. So yeah, Tina's happy. If, if Tina's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> so that's our mechanic in done for today. I will need to order a new cable for that because where the plastic bit goes into the, the bit on the, you've got like a thing that the cable goes through on the gearbox. The plastic bit on the cable's pretty much chewed up. But um, the gearbox is working. It's pulling Tina along a treat, so she'll have to nearly run to cut the grass now. So, as I said, happy wife, happy life. And, uh, yeah. So now I think we're going to have a spot of lunch, and then after lunch we're going to, well, Tina's going to cut the grass, and I shall pot on some more chilies into bigger pots. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up, that will help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And it's a bye for now.